Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Burt. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens, and we are powered by God's technology. All right, as I said before, we give our Lord and Savior the full credit for all we're blessed to be able to do at the end of the day, the beginning of the day, the middle of the day. It's all His technology when it comes down to that. All right, so we're going to do a demonstration on an up close and personal on our. Dark Legend, this is a Dark Legend 27 Extreme Gamer. And this is a BLK, we call it the BLK, it's for short for black. Uh, ADV is for advanced, and you know, ambient light projection. All right, so this is black ambient light projection technology we're using. Uh, it allows our screen to be to produce in fully lit environments, as we have it down here in the max out zone. And then also too, it produces amazing height and white levels. All right, so let's show you over here what we have on the max out zone. There's my meter right here. As you can see, I'll come over here and turn the meter off. Turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on. It's always going to max out in here because we have a lot of lighting going on. These are fluorescent lights. They produce a lot of light in the environment. My floors are white and the walls are white. So we get a lot of light that goes off here at the same time. Projector we're using the demonstration is our Chrissy 720p. It's an LW401 projector, about 4,000 lumens. As I said before, with how much light we have and the distance we have in here, uh, we don't have 4,000 lumens by the time we make contact with the screen. That's black inferno technology over there. So starting off from here, coming all the way over, measuring tape, I told you before, about 14 feet and some change away from the screen. And like I said, in the maximum zone, plenty of light. So we're gonna be doing a close up uh, demonstration here. We're gonna have the camera zoomed up so we can see right up on top of the screen. I'll bring my uh, camera right here, right there. Okay, that should be good. And let's get this adjusted. There we go. So we're going to be doing some gaming, and we're going to be doing some um, some bit, you know, regular 4K and 8K demonstrations. Our, our projector's not doing that, but at least you know if you can see it in the, the day, it's going to do quite well. All right. So let me get a power cord. I'm going to plug this in because my phone. Robert's telling me go get your charger because I'm going to run back upstairs again. Now listen to what he tells you to do. Everything works out okay. All right. Come over and put this over here. And let's grab our power cord. And let's begin. So I've got some gaming going on right now. Because I did this video before, but I ran out of space. So I had to delete some videos off the account that I weren't using anymore. All right. There we go. I think we got some juice. Okay, good. We're at 20%, but still better safe than sorry. All right, they probably logged me out. Yeah, because I'm online playing, that's why. So, go back in again. And let's go to switch. I like to do the switch. What if I have that in there? Yeah, because I get to change up my vehicles. I get to start off with bikes, which I never get a chance to keep. Either I wreck it or they wreck it. So hopefully I can keep the bike a little longer. So this is a spray on and roll on application as you've seen me doing before, very easy to apply in no time at all. Got to get a few pictures after this video right here and then after that we can paint over top of it. So I'll be using the new stuff we had, Lord bless us to be able to have, hold on a minute. Oh, this is a little more easier, oh, did I, did I, oh okay, so I took it from me. Jeez, you always took my bike from me. I'm gonna at least get a couple of runs off of this. Yeah, I got a big boy on my back already. Trying to take my bike. Got this, man. I want to keep it for a bit. So we do our starting demonstration in the max out zone because we want to be able to use the screens in as much light as possible. You know, so that way, you know, the average consumer is not going to be using this much light. But we just want to go a little overboard. So that way, we're 100% sure these screens are going to be able to produce. And that's why we did the... Whoa, 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 don't lose my bike, don't lose my bike. I just got it, I just got it. There we go. Be careful about that. Somebody would T-bone you on that one. Oh! 
I messed up. I could have sworn I thought I got to the second one. I thought I was actually leveled out, but I wasn't. I was nowhere near leveled out. All right, I wrecked my own bike. I gotta hit the button. Oh, come on, I just got that. Really? Can I at least keep it for a couple minutes? The gas guzzler. Of course, the gas guzzler. Too freaking nitro like crazy. Look, somebody's already trying to destroy my vehicle right there. I'm taking a shortcut. I've never done this one before. Oh, that's freaking cool. Gotta take that one more often. Oh, somebody's blazing already? I'm gonna take your blaze, buddy boy. There we go. Took your blaze from me. Oh, it's an enforcer. I ain't taking that. Usually when them things go off, man, you can't take those. Those are the big boy trucks. Let's just cut right through here. Ahead of you guys. Oh. Oh, I got the mean nasty enforcer right behind me. Oh, yeah, sure he's behind me. Where else would he be at? We just land on top of it. There he is. The monster Villa. Oh, I slammed him all he took me out. I knew it. I knew he was gonna get me, man. He was chasing me the entire time. I was like, he's definitely gonna jack me up. All right, we're gonna pop over here to some Dragon Ball Z. Now you see the screen's not fading out. It's beautiful blue from corner to corner. That's what we want for our, our customers. Now, keep in mind the Legends are only gonna be available in 48s only. Uh, maybe later on we'll have it in one gallon, but right now it started off to be in 48s, 48s to up to 150 inch screen. So to test that theory, I build me a 150 inch screen. I don't want to buy one with 150 inch screen. It's gonna be crazy expensive. I don't have to build it. So we're gonna build a 150 inch screen, and then we're just gonna use one quart. Now mind you, if you're using any form of uh, PVC, it's easier to coat. But if you're using base any form of fabric, we do suggest you basically uh, prime the surface first. If you're using that tablecloth surface, then you don't have to prime that stuff. It's water repel. Let's get back to this. Oh, my day I've been put online because I am not ready for online. I'm barely making it offline. So the reason I like to show both on here because remind you have the gaming system, you want to have Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that. So you want to make sure it does both. We'll get a chance to um well we still have to take it outside. So we might be to do that today. It's gonna be cold, but it's gotta be done. Oh, my choosing. Hmm. And once this is finished, hold on for a minute. Yeah, once it passes its outside demonstration, it's going to go into the done list until we finish all of them. And we're still waiting for some paperwork and some stuff to come back from the attorneys because we're getting copyrights and patent pendants on the on the uh, material. Get ready for Hire me a graphic designer too with the artwork too. Shrink label. Mm, that's on you. Mind you, we're doing all this in 720p on an old projector. Nothing expensive. 270 bucks, that's it, my projector. Oh, 
check out some of the videos on here. I got two videos I'm going to play on here real quick. Because I don't want to go over on my time here. The games do eat up a lot of time. So let me go over here. Let's go over to YouTube right now. Should do some Pac-Man. What about time I do that for the finisher? So you get a nice solid blue. That's what I love about solid blue, fully lit in the environment. Let me show you how far we're back from the screen. So we're not actually sitting right up on top of the screen. We're actually a good distance. We're actually right over by the projector right over there. Oh, that's the model number of the projector right there if you ever want to look it up. My contrast ratio on my projector, it's a Chrissy LW41, but my contrast ratio on my projector is only 3,000 lumens. That's it. And you can see fully lit environment, plenty of light, and the screen's not washed out or fading or anything, having any problems whatsoever. So once we get it outside, we get that demonstration, that'll basically complete most of the work on the projector. We're at 50% right now. So we have to go outside, do that demonstration if all goes well. Uh, yeah, and it is cold outside. It is really, really cold outside, but hey, gotta be done. I'm still gonna do the snow demonstration. That's still gonna be done. All right, so let's go over here and let's grab something for the home. Uh, let's see, I wanna go with those, that one demonstration, that natural desire. They got nature, AK Desire Nature. Mm, that didn't sound too well. Didn't mean anything by it. All right, so let's start off with this one. Let's get up close and let's bring it back a little bit. So there we go. You can see how amazing it looks. And we can do a walk around too, because I like to do the walk around. So first, I'm going to do a little up close. So you're going to see we're not going to have any fading, no washout. We don't have to depend on a dark environment to make the colors pop. And we don't have to depend on a ultra short throw projector due in fear of the distance throw or basically calibrating the projector or using an expensive projector to make up for what the screen can't do. The screen has to work for it. So let's come out of the zoom real quick and let's go in and take a walk around. This is what I like about doing the pre-recorded because when we do this on Wi-Fi, it kind of gets a little crazy in here. So as you can see, we can be on an angle and still check out the lights over here. And the screen is still going to maintain a nice bright image from corner to corner without it washing out or fading. And again, like I said, we don't have to depend on being in a dark environment using overpriced projectors 
and my projector is only 720p so we're not even 1080p or 4k no calibration none of that i consider calibration to be cheated because you already enhanced your projector to do something that it was not able to do so i call that enhancing your projector and i don't think you should do demonstrations like that Now this is going to be a gamer version of the Dark Legend. Let's go back and let's grab ourselves another video, some heavy contrast levels. Now I always say the contrast levels need to be done in a fully lit environment due to the fact that the customer decides to use the screen in a fully lit environment. And if you never test it in a fully lit environment using contrast levels, especially in a maxed out zone, that customer may run into some problems when trying to produce those heavy levels. Let's go over here, I'm going to pick on this video right here, and let's go grab here and grab the heavy contrast levels. I love this demonstration because it just has such amazing contrast levels. Let me see, my control is bugging out a little bit over here. Okay, let's bring this back a little bit. There we go. wasn't responding. You may have to order me a new controller. Now, as you can see, this is a very dark contrast level. You scare, um, the makeup she has on, the background is jet black. And you want to be to have this in a fully lit environment. That way, you know, at the end of the day, it's your screen actually going to be to produce a heavy contrast level, even if the environment is well lit. If you're watching demonstrations and you're constantly doing this in a dark environment, it clearly shows your screen is definitely having difficulty producing a dark contrast level in a well lit environment. In mind, you're at 4,000 lumens. And we've done this against uh, tablecloths and just about everything we could possibly think of. I'm gonna go back again. Oops, sorry about that. I'm gonna go on that one, but I wanna go back again on that particular. Showing her face again. And we're gonna zoom out. Now, we're gonna pause there. We're gonna walk around the environment, as always, in our maxed out zone. I'm gonna show you no matter where we go at, that black level is gonna remain the same. This is something that gray and gray screens and white screens cannot do and have not been able to back up. You have to be to produce that level. So that light hitting the screen, this is very important that you do these tests to make sure your product's working properly before you put it out for sale. Now, after this passes the 13 feet back, which is outside the final test, it is not going to be available until all of them are completed. All right, right here, we have it again, meter max out zone, still at one right there, not reading. Let's see, I'm going to trip over there and kill myself here. All right, let's back it up over here. I'm going to grab us up another demonstration. This one's going to have a lot of color into it. I saw this one in here. I thought this was pretty nice to do for demonstration. We're going to zoom up. So we can get right up on top of the screen. And you see, even though it's a dark screen, it can still maintain very bright, beautiful levels without calibrating the projector at all. Now, I don't like using ultra short throw projectors as I said before, as my main projector, due to the fact the distance throw isn't there. And what if a customer is using a long throw projector? and you're constantly testing on ultra short throw, you really can't see how that's going to affect. It's still going to affect in one way or another. Due to the fact that a ultra short throw projector has a shorter distance, so since it has a shorter distance, it's going to be like, really less likely that it's going to deal with uh, washout or this, that, and the other to a certain degree. Where a long throw is going to have some problems because it's a longer throw, and it's going to lose more lumens by the time it makes contact with a screen, where the ultra short throw is not going to lose a lot of lumens because of the short distance throw. That's why I don't like when I watch demonstrations where people depend on an ultra short throw projector. We do them at long throw because we know if long throw, if that screen can travel 14 feet and still maintain that image like we did on a thousand lumens then on an ultra short though it's going to be a cakewalk out again. Oops, sorry about that. Back out again. When 
like I said, old 720p projector. Now like, that's why I like to use the older 720p projector because well, they're outdated. Well, if we can make an old 720p projector look this amazing, imagine what 1080p and 4K is going to look like. Okay, I am going to go back and play a little Pac-Man because I don't want to go past our, um, I don't want to go past our time limit here. I want to keep this short and sweet, which I want to do from there. Let me see. I'm going to check out a few things real quick. After all the testing we do, I like to have give the screen a bit of a victory lap. It did it quite well past all its tests, but no problem. Just has one more to go, and that's basically about it. We can put it in the done list, and we can start on the next one. I also just want to check out something really quick while I'm here. I don't know if they have it in this category, but we're going to pop over real quick. I'm going to look at something here. 4K snow demonstrations. Relaxing. Oh, completely butchered it. They completely, completely butchered it. 4K snow relaxing. I love how they choose you. They choose what you want you to have. I want to see. We had a fantastic video that we found from this one place. They have very high, high white levels in these demonstrations. But we'll go with the snow dogs. <laughs> I'm going to show you how high the white levels are. Up close and personal. Take it back from a distance. Now, one of the things I heard a few times when it comes to black screens, I was told that the reason why black screens are mostly displayed in dark environments is due to the fact they have a difficult time producing high white levels and just a lot of ambient light in the environment. Keep in mind, the screen's black and it's going to have to produce a white level and basically it will do a lot better if the environment's darker, which would heighten the screen's white levels. We don't do that here, as you can see. Okay, just want to find that those demonstrations were absolutely fantastic. I think this was one of them. I'm not sure. It looks like it. That is pretty frosty. Ugh. Remind me what's going on outside right now. We don't get snow like that right now, but we got some snow. Let's get past the intro. I thought it would have popped up in my feed, but let's see where we're at with this. What if people don't want to transform? Oh, well, we want to get that right away. There we go.
Now, as I said before, that our white levels may be a little lower than gray screens or white screens, but it's nothing that's gonna disrupt your picture quality in any way whatsoever. As you can see. All right, let's get a couple more. I don't wanna go past my time here. Uh, let me see what we got going on here. I was looking for this one where they had really good ones in that one. Oh, controllers always have an issue. My controller has a lot of issues. Got to get myself a new controller. Yeah, something really bright. I'm going to take a walk around. I'll take you out of Zoom real quick. Give you a walk around to show you uh, we're not affected by the ambient light in the environment and we're able to maintain that nice bright level even on an angle now phantoms do amazing jobs of producing white levels we had phantoms outside at 150 inches 27 feet back at 451 in the evening and we're able to produce a bone white snow level that was so bright it was reflecting off the grass I'll put that link below. You have to check that out. That is a pretty interesting link. So let's get up close again. There we go. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm going to go grab me one more out of here. I really like doing these demonstrations. They're pretty fun. So let's see what we got going on this side over here. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Wish Technology Screen. As always, we give all credit to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for blessing with us with such amazing, wonderful technology. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time, and I got to go. The Legends will be available, but like I said, we have quite a lot to go through. I think I have a list over here. I may have it over here. How many Legends there are? So I'll put the list too. Also, this is the list. And I'll put the list also too at the bottom so you can check it out for yourself. Over here, we're going to start working on this one next, which is actually the, um, this one is the, uh, oh my God, I can think of Black Inferno, Black Inferno. Dark Legend 27 Black Inferno. So that would be the one we have right here. Oops, if I can get my camera to zoom back out again. All right, that'll be the one right here we're going to be doing. Like I said, they're black, but they're like a different shade of black. All right, with that being said, thank you for your time. I have to go, and God bless. Check out the Black Phantom technology, which is absolutely incredible. We're going to be doing some demonstrations on that, too, later on today. I have 135 of that up upstairs, and we're going to be putting on our Sony VPL FH30, 31, or 30, I think it's FH30. All right, got to go, and God bless.